Hey YouTube, Zach here with Savage Traveling today. Uh, we're talking about cameras and uh, specifically the Sony X3000 travel vlog action camera. I mean, it's actually an action camera, but everybody I know uses it as a, a vlogging camera. And uh, it's like the ultimate vlogging camera. I mean, there's a few cons, but uh, I've enjoyed the year and a half I've owned it immensely. It's been a great camera for me. I've took it all over the world, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Europe, a good deal around the United States here and uh, I've shot a lot of great video with it and um, I'm gonna sprinkle some throughout this video and then you know the different modes like 4k and 1080p and just show you what uh, you know this camera is capable of and if it's still worth you purchasing for the $360 it still retails for in the year 2020 because uh, it is it's about four years old it debuted September of 2016 and uh, shot right up to the top of like action camera you know polls and like is this the best action camera out there and it is in some uh, how you use it like for me as a vlogging camera it's perfect because the audio's 10 times better than the GoPros uh, you know you get great audio with this but you lose a view screen now you have your analog digital screen here that you can uh, you know select your different modes and your different uh, you know uh, frame rates and whatnot uh, but you do not have a viewfinder screen where you can review your work like a GoPro so like that's a trade-off there and um, this is also not waterproof in its current form here like this uh, you have to get it you know it comes with a plastic case that uh, you can you know, put it in and then it just greatly reduces the audio and is pretty much pointless for my, you know, what I use the camera for. So I use it, you know, leave it without the case, slap it on a stick like this and, you know, talk to it, make love to it and try to get, you know, the great shots while I'm out on the road or just, you know, just around wherever I happen to be. Because like I said, being, it only weighs 4.1 ounces and I don't know how, what the dimensions are, but it can't be but like three inches by two. And uh, it slides right into your pocket and it, it can go you can take it anywhere and it's discreet and if you take it off the stick I mean like I said you just literally let me see if I can get it to focus it's literally the perfect action camera in my eyes uh, like I said, I've enjoyed it for a year and a half. I, at one point, I had bought a, a lens cover for it. Uh, they sell it, I found it on Amazon. It came from Sony, it was like $28. And it worked for a while, but eventually it would just like pop off in my pockets. And I just used, at first I would try to use it as like, okay, I'd whip it out of my pocket. I'd, uh, you know, wipe it down real quick, but like, it just was, it would pop off in my pocket and it would get all dirty and then I was just using it as like a lens cover to try to protect the this lens here. And it just didn't work and I ended up losing it and it's gone now. And I wouldn't purchase it unless the camera, is. if you're using the camera and it's like stationary. Like other than that, the, that, the cover for the lens is a waste of money in my personal opinion. I tried it, it didn't work. but. To get back to the question at hand is like, is this a, you know, is this camera worth buying in 2020? I totally wholeheartedly agree that it is. Uh, Cause like I said, I like the GoPro 8. I like the, the, uh, the picture, uh, the picture looks amazing. Like, uh, like it's like along with, it's up there with this one. And it's like the, like very little fish eye, super wide. And I like that about this action camera. So like when the new GoPro 8 came out, I was like, oh wow, like this is what I'm looking for. The colors are deeper and richer. The, the, the picture just looks a lot deeper and fuller to me. But you know, in standard GoPro fashion, like you still can't, the audio is still tin, tinny and like hollow and you have to buy an adapter for a shotgun mic or now they sell this media mod thing that you slip the GoPro into and then you can attach a whole bunch of different, uh, you know, extras attachments to the GoPro to make it better, you know, maybe like better cameras uh, or a I mean, better microphone and I think you attach a flash to it or whatnot. But um, I'm not, like that's not what I want. I like the simpleness of the X3000 and that I can just throw it on any old selfie stick pretty much and um, I'm ready to go and I have a full on like you know 4k high definition pocket cam that I mean it doesn't have zoom you know because it is an action camera you know you can only get so much in a little package like this you know what I mean but 
uh, with you know with post you know zooming in post you can make up for that sometimes and I'm, I've done that a lot and uh, like I said I've just been overjoyed with this action camera and even if it's four years old I still think it's just as good as by today as it was four years ago in September of 2016 because like there hasn't been much progress in the world of action cameras in my eyes like I said GoPro 8 took it to the next level with its with the with its picture but beyond that it's no different than the previous gopros and for a vlogging camera that's not going to work for me because i don't want to hook a bunch of extras up to it i'm not carrying that stuff around with me like i can literally put this with this stick on it in my pocket and it disappears and, um, and then you take the stick off and you can even hide it better you know i'm not trying to like hide the camera but like so you can put it anywhere and it's just there and with a click of a button or two you can be rolling and then capturing in 4k high def uh I said I've had it. I took it all over the world. I mentioned, and uh, I, I do. I recommend it every day still uh, to anybody who's getting into vlogging, like I am. Like when you're on the road vlogging, and it's just you know you you don't want a whole lot of gear. You don't need a whole lot of gear for what you know when you have one of these, because like it's a simple. I lo I love the simplicity of it. You know, it's just you know basic. You just you know select what frame rate and what you know 4K 1080p you want, and then basically hit the record button and you're ready to go um, so I hope that helps you in your decision I mean, I mean it's a great camera and like I said uh, until something better comes along I don't know when the GoPro 9 will be out but I'll, I'll be curious to see where they're at with audio I mean until GoPro fixes their audio it's just not gonna do it for me now I might purchase an older one again in the future just to strap to my chest in certain instances as like if I'm motorbiking or whatnot you know I mean, that, that's here nor there right now, but uh, I'll be waiting for round two of the Sony X3000 whenever that comes out. So um, I don't, I haven't heard any rumors or anything and the price of this has stayed at $360 from day one. So I'm assuming that's a good indication that they don't have anything new in the pipeline or, you know, like GoPro, they'd start offering it for cheaper prices to get rid of inventory and whatnot, like what GoPro's doing now with the eight. I keep getting notifications every day about, oh, we're selling them for a hundred dollars off. Yeah, yeah. That hasn't happened with this piece yet. And when it does, maybe we'll see something new, but for right now, it's still full price. It's a great camera. I still say it's worth it. And, uh, yeah, go out and buy it and then tell me about what you think about it in the comments below because I love this action camera and I'll probably run it until it dies on me. And if there isn't anything new when it does, I might purchase it again. So, but like I said, after a year and a half and around the world three or four times now, it's not, you know, it doesn't even have a scratch on it and I've dropped it. So <laughs> like I said, it's a great camera, even in 2020 guys. Uh, thanks for watching my little spiel about the Sony FDRX 3000. Uh, still a great camera. Um, if you like this, please like and subscribe. I do a lot of traveling videos. This is a little bit out of the ordinary for me, but we're trying to like mix it up, get a little tech, get a little bit of food, get a little bit of travel, get all the things that encompass travel. So, you know, you get a full idea of what it's like to be maybe like a travel vlogger is kind of what the idea we're going here with. But anyways, thanks for watching. This has been Zach with Savage Traveling with the Sony FDR X3000, the greatest travel vlogging camera in the world. Peace. <laughs>